Oh, this thing is heavy. new build. So today we are going to do another build because I feel like it. I uh, like to do builds. But first off, uh, we have a new table. I would not consider this to be an upgrade. The table is way smaller than the old one, but the old one was just too destroyed with the years and was too chunky and, and half the room was basically table. So yeah, new table. This episode is brought to you by Stromus and their beautiful collection of FPS increasing mouse pads. You can either choose one of their pre-created designs or go ahead and build your own using their customizer, which allows you to see what it would look like if your room wasn't such a mess. But what sets Stromus apart? Custom stitching colors, washable, three millimeter thickness, ultra sticky bottom, sizes ranging from small to a carpet and the most beautiful unboxing experience you could wish for. Not convinced yet? Let's do a quick review. Screw test. Pest. Screwdriver test. Pest. Case test. Pest. Learn more about Strummers and their mouse pads by using the links in the description below. Uh, so what are we going to build today? Well, I need a bunch of B-rolls for the uh, Fantax Evolve X case. So I thought, why not do another white build? Uh, and this one we will just straight up call Aurora. Aurora. Due to me having blue cables from Asia Horse, which they sent back then when we also did the, the Asia Horse fan reviews, and I still needed to use them in something. So this is the perfect opportunity, and I still believe, or I, I generally I believe that blue and white are just colors that need to be mixed. For the platform, we will be going with Intel 12th Gen. I have the 12900K, because, uh, I mean, it's a 12900K, and uh, the alternative would be a 5600X. So we are going with the 12900. For the motherboard, I actually wanted to go with the ASRock B660 that we just got. Uh, I know, it's a 12... 900k and it's a b660 board that's a really bad idea but i wanted to use it in something and have a look at how it actually looks like and, and really performs and all but uh not possible because i do not own uh, cooler master brackets for lga 1700 sockets and this means that we need to go back to our old friend the asus rog strix ROG Strix Z690A Gaming Wi-Fi D4 and a bunch of other words because this one has the LJ1700 and 1200 holes on the board and that really helps to be able to use the Alpha Cool Water Cooler. Alpha Cool Water Cooler. Because last time we used the 1200K, it was inside the Montec Sky One case, beautiful case, everything was good, and we used the Arctic Freezer 34. This time, however, I wanted to go with a bit of RGB, and I have a white Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240 Illusion that conveniently has a bunch of RGB lights, so I can make them shine in the same color as these cables and everything perfectly fits except for the fact that it does not have the LGA 1700 socket so we need to use this one and everything like kind of kind of mixes here uh, for the RAM we are going back to the ballistics to get uh, 2 times 8 3200 sticks because I still do not have more RAM. We have a um, 970 Pro 500 gig from Samsung because yes. Then we have the same random as Be Quiet power supply that I'm just repurposing in every video. And as the last piece we have the Gigabyte 3070 Vision that I also repurposing for some reason. So um, even though I did not want to repurpose everything and for the same kind of video we are basically building the exact same pc as inside the montag case except for water cooling instead of air cooling it's basically the same pc performance will be the same plus minus margin of error and stuff but uh we are just looking at the cooling at this point and uh, if I remember correctly, the ML240 uh, performed plus minus exactly the same as uh, the Freezer 34 Duo. Th there will be a difference, probably, to some degree, but I do not expect more than 1 or 2 degrees C. Okay, um, let's start. First I put everything on this table to then put it back there. It, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, one thing I did not really mention about the... 
Mm. Yep. To take off the pedals, you need to use real force. Like these hinges are are really tight. Like ooh. Uh, then the second point is they are really heavy. Like if I would open this one now, the case will basically fall. That's some really heavy glass here. And although really heavy glass is usually a very good thing, and I still believe it's a very good thing, it's not the best thing that the case will fall down. I mean, imagine you have a finished build, you open up one side, the other side does not yet have the glass, so you have that, uh, that offset of weight, and then the whole build just falls off the table. That's a worst case scenario. And uh, I, I'm not saying Fantex should make the case heavier because shipping and all, and the case already weighs 13 and a half kilo, and that's mm, for a case. Uh, but I, I don't know, maybe like make the glass a bit less thick, because this can be a real issue in some cases. And yes, somehow I really need to get my hands on more RAM, more. Uh, more different motherboards, maybe also different motherboard companies and, and just more general equipment to make these builds a bit more diverse. I mean, they are still, they will still be looking very nice, but I'm not a big fan of repurposing uh, my stuff over and over again. I mean, we did 99% the same build inside a different case and I don't think that that's the best way to do it, but that's how we do it for now. But okay, let's now use some of that doo -doo 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 transition. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain, but hitting bottom is the only way to change. So I'll keep. No, no es bueno. No es bueno. Keep hustling, you keep struggling, bitch. I'm humbling, keep mumbling, I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing, you've got nothing, I'll keep hustling. I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling <laughs> And that was the Aurora build, I guess. For me, I believe it turned out pretty good. I like how it looks with the 
the blue LEDs and then the blue Asia horse cables, I think uh, it turned out pretty pretty neat in my opinion. I don't know. You can tell me yours in the comment section below, but for me, I'm, I'm fine with it. But before we proceed with the temperature test, because that is going to be a, a very interesting one, uh, let's first have a look at the game benchmarks. Well, for anybody who has seen the Montag Sky 1 build video, it is basically the exact same setup. So plus minus margin of error, of course, the, the results were uh, exactly the same or plus minus the same. Now, for the temperature tests, uh, it's, it's really interesting what happened in here. So to recap the old uh, Montag video, we had 87 degrees C on the package when running CPU Z stress test or the benchmark test, whatever they call it. Uh, and Fermark with uh, 1080p 8 MSAA. I did the same thing in here, and as it turns out, the CPU temperature went up to 96 degrees C on the package. That's 7 degrees C more than inside of the Montag case with the Freezer 34 eSports Duo. Now, the reason this is so interesting is because in the CPU uh, cooler benchmarks, the Freezer 34 and the, and the Cooler Mass ML240 turned out exactly the same. But now in here, with a different setup, with more things that can have an impact on it, and with the CPU that is way more demanding than the 3900X that I do my benchmarks on, uh, we will see significant differences. So in a setup like this, the Freezer 34 is definitely a better cooler by freaking far. Having that said, I do not believe that you should copy this, this build whatsoever. First of all, uh, do not do 16 gigs of, uh, of RAM in, with a 12900K, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Then 3070 is... Uh, well, for a for a editing rig it would be okay, but not for a gaming rig. But most importantly, the cooling. Now I know a ML240 from Cooler Master is not enough to cool a 12900K. Not by a long shot. Maybe the 360 version, or probably the 360 version, maybe 280 version, I don't if it exists, I don't even know. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, do not do this. The ML240 is not enough. The build went um, pretty well, I guess until the point where I tried to install the main board and I basically backflipped it out of the case. It was a uh, horrific experience and I am unsure if I will ever be able to recover from that. But uh, yeah, that's a 4 euro main board that just fell out of my case. Uh, but it works, you see, it's, it still works, nothing happened, so uh, I, I guess uh, I avoided a lot of issues there. So uh, would I recommend to do this build? Absolutely not. The the, the CPU with 96 degrees under full load, I believe that's too much. It will work, of course it will. You can game on it, you can work on it, that's not a problem. But it will spin at, at high uh, RPM settings uh, all the time, every fan, and, and that's just not, not good for your environment, for your, your for yourself, I mean, it's annoying. So no, if you're doing something like this, 100%, a 360 red minimum, or a, a bigger cooler, uh, well, funnily enough, a Freezer 34 is enough, even though I consider that a small cooler, but that's how it is. So yeah, I guess this was the Aurora build. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am really sorry that you had to witness me backflipping a motherboard. This was uh, a horrific experience that I hope never to have to deal with again. I hope to be able to reuse the case in the near future because I have uh, a bunch of gear that I wanted to get and, and do some crazy ass stuff in here. But that's for another video. For today, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.